Okay guys, finding z-score given one or more sample size. If you look into this problem as you clearly see, for a population with a mean 50 and a standard deviation is 14, find the z-score corresponding to each of the following samples. So well, clearly up here, down here as you clearly see. So the first one is x, a random value, data value, one score for a sample of one score as you clearly see one score. When we have M, this is like a sample mean. In other words, this we are assuming this sample mean is for four scores. So we're going to use different technique than the first one, actually. So well, let's introduce, well, we already know what is z-score. You know, earlier you learned what is z-score. So well, let's come up with the z-score formula. So what is the z-score formula? Z-score formula is z is equal to x minus the mean over standard deviation okay so well or z is equal to m minus sample mean minus population mean over standard error of the mean okay so some will say what is this all of a sudden well we are using the first formula okay i'd like to you know mention here we're using the first formula here when you have one individual score, okay? So, as you see, one score. Or, we use this one, even you use this one up here, it's going to be the same thing, actually. Your answer is going to be the same. Well, okay, mean is going to be basically the same one. So, but second one, the sample mean is given because it's more than, as you see, more than one score. So we must use the standard error of the mean in order to minimize the error. So well, I'm going to show you actually A and B in both, or as you will see, answer is going to come up. Well, you'll see that A answer is going to be same, but B we won't be able to do this soil. Okay. So well, let's continue. So what is given here in this problem? Okay. So in this problem, obviously mean is given. Okay, as you clearly see, the mean is given. So this is the population mean we just gonna plug it in this is standard deviation so this is coming down here and the x value is there so all I do I just substitute it here so z score is equal to x in this case is 26 minus population mean which is 50 over standard deviation which is 14 okay and if I do use my little calculator is going to give me negative 1.7 negative 1.71 well i can show you actually here with any little calculator you know you can do it here um remember this calculator has a very nice built-in option you can just put a fraction of here like this so 26 minus 50 over 14 just like that or some will say I get fraction, no problem, you use double arrow. So that gives you negative 1.71. Now if you don't want to use that concept, that scenario, right, you can actually do this. 26 minus 50. Now you must enter. Then divide it by 14. It should give you the same. This time you see the you know decimal right away. Now we would like to reduce it. I mean, sim you know, simplify means round off z score by default we must round off so we go mode go to float and you know manually actually you can just do that too enter clear enter so look uh, i'm going to show you again here so 26 minus 50 divided by 14 it gives you the right there as you clearly see right here it's the same it's rounding up for you actually as you see right so well I'm going to show you the second one here okay now look what happened here is basically same thing we did on the left side here so z is equal to in this case is 26 minus 50 over standard deviation in this case is same as 14 square root of 1 now, if you want to type this square root of 1 here. So, if you want to type this in a calculator, I would like to show you actually here. Before I do anything, I would just love to 
clear the memory so I don't get anything messed up here. So this is very nice actually as you see. So 26 minus 50 over you have a fraction. Let's put down this n over d. So that will give you from to so type in 14 go down here square root of well some of you know already but I'm showing you actually and of course look it's exactly same thing we found earlier look negative 1.71 now negative 1.71 now why we are getting the same answer in both it doesn't matter which formula we use because we are using one sample one sample if you have a sample more than one we won't have the same answers let's continue on b here okay let's continue on b so what is b says so again we all we have the information already so all we do is just gather the information and substitute it so well uh, we clearly know you know in this case m is given second one or well, by the way that was a and now this is a b so m is 26 and also population mean is 50 and population standard deviation is equal to 14 okay and n is equal to 4 this time is different n. okay i would like to show you actually why i get all this information so clearly see population means 50 standard deviation is 14 and n is given on the second one okay so we're going to actually substitute here in the problem so um well clearly you have more than one score so i would love to use this formula z is equal to x minus population mean over standard error square root of n now notice that i put down x no i can do that actually here i have to make this if i put x that is one individual score i am working on so that should be x bar or it it can be just plainly m so sample mean remember if you see x bar this really means the same thing sample mean okay so well we are just going to substitute it here so look this is sample mean this is population mean this is standard deviation and this is everything is given all you do is just slide it in so 26 minus 50 over 14 square root of 4 so I'd like to show you type this in in the calculator okay again I would like to actually erase the calculator so we do this n over d 26 minus 50 the good thing is using this oil in this calculator you don't have to worry about the parentheses if you use different calculator of course you worry about the parentheses okay so again n over d 14 over square root of 4 enter of course this is a fraction you use double arrow negative 3.43 as you clearly see negative 3.43 so negative 3.43 that is the z score remember we must round the z score to the hundred place otherwise we cannot use our z table z table is built in for hundredth two decimal places or hundredth okay so i'll you can check it out actually if you, you can check it out uh whether you know you have the same calculation or not um this is how we find z score when given sample is more than one okay so you can try if the answer is comes the same or not using the same formula or obviously we cannot do that because we have more than one sample so you can go back and forth and see uh you know you can do a similar problem from your textbook thank you